All right, y'all. All right, y'all. The age-old question. What does your boy do for work? What does your boy do for work? Well, I'm here to tell y'all. Y'all see the suit and tie? I am a CEO of a company, a Fortune 500 company. Yeah, that's what I've been doing here in Vegas. I've been working on this company, and uh, I waited a long time. And finally, finally, things have came through. I am CEO of the company. What company, you might ask? It's the company of companies. I'm kidding, y'all. Okay, <laughs> what do I really do for work here? So, actually, I'm doing security. Um, I work at a club. Um, I do security at a club, and then I work at a beach club as a buster right now. Um, I... I came to Vegas because I wanted to switch things up, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do other things. I wanted to branch out and experience different uh, work lives other than warehouse. So yeah, uh, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, when I first started in Vegas, I wasn't really making good money, but like now with the two job thing, um, I'm, I'm doing pretty good here, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like, getting rich out here, but me and my girl were actually doing pretty good, you know? Um, living wise because we we keep our expenses low and we don't um we don't uh you know spend our money on a lot of shit you know what i'm saying most we buy is like like we buy toys you know so uh when i first came out here i was kind of struggling a little bit um you know i didn't we didn't we didn't really know much about vegas it's a new area uh my girl has never been here before. I came here once to visit, and I was just like, you know, this is the place I want to live, you know? I think I want to live here, you know? And she's never been here, so we didn't know much, so I got a job at a little Latin night club. It was cool, but I wasn't making a lot of money. Then I branched out into, like, a club on the Strip, and then um, from there, um, things didn't work out, so I went back and... I was staying at the Latin night club for a long period of time. It wasn't a lot of money, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money, but we were still doing okay because like I said, we keep our expenses low. We're not into partying. We're not into drinking, really. I, I rarely drink. I've never been a drinker. My girl doesn't drink at all. Uh, I did uh, smoke. I started smoking more weed than usual. Like when I, I smoke weed occasionally, but I started smoking. Uh, that's in the video for another topic, but I, I stopped that, you know, um, but like, uh, yeah, um, we don't really get into the whole, like, you, you can come to Vegas and lose yourself here, you know, with all the, the, uh, the stuff, you know, there's so many, like, temptations to lose yourself here, you know, there's, there's gambling, there's alcohol, there's party, there's, there's, uh, some people fall into like sex addiction you know what i'm saying you know because like there's strip clubs everything you know like it's all here it's like a adult disneyland for people with bad addictions or like i mean i'm not saying that like if you like to do those things do your thing it's just like we don't do that stuff we don't gamble since i've been here i gamble just to fuck around like i've never been a gambler my girl doesn't gamble i've gambled like seven dollars you know what i'm saying since, since i've been here so you know there's that um we took some losses along the way, you know, um, but yeah, so I've mainly, the mainly two jobs I've done here is, uh, well, we started to do Amazon Flex for a little bit, but, um, I don't know if you followed, for the people who followed my channel back when, um, back when I was in Minnesota, I was doing Instacart full time and I was making pretty decent money doing Instacart, you know, I was making uh, I want to say I was making a living, you know, like, uh, I, uh, I was, um, doing, damn, Miss Lane is closed up here, this is stupid, oh, looks like I gotta get in, y'all, y'all gotta let me in, yeah, I was making pretty good money doing Instacart, uh, and, um, when I moved here, I didn't really try Instacart because I wanted to do something different here, you know? But we did, we, towards the end of us moving to Vegas, we were doing Amazon Flex. And, uh, sorry y'all with the, uh, uh, I just got off work and shit, so I'm kind of tired, you know? I worked the overnight shift. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, what's wrong with this guy? What the fuck, man? You don't know how to fucking talk? Like, god damn it, man. Why don't you fucking speak your mind and stop with the uhs? That's what you guys are thinking, huh? <laughs> no, but, like, we did, uh, Amazon Flex. That's where you drive your own car and then you deliver the packages yourself, you know? Um, and it was... Boom, in, in Minnesota, in our hometown, we were making, like, a full-time living. Like, we, we got it up to, like, almost $40 an hour doing that, you know? Um, and we were making pretty good money doing that, you know what I'm saying? But then when we moved here, completely dead zone. It's, it's like trash here, you know what I'm saying? You barely get any, they call them blocks. They're, like, shifts that you pick on the app. If for my people who have done like gig work, they know what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to explain it the best way possible for, for you to get it. So we did Amazon Flex and that shit was just dead. You know, it just wasn't worth it. You know, half of these uh, places in Vegas are gated. So you gotta have a gate code to go in. So it's a very hard hassle. Like in Minnesota, you could just drop it off at the door or if it's an apartment building, you can drop it off in the mail room. No, they want you to go to individual apartments and all these apartments are gated and a lot of people don't even use the gate code so it's very fucking stressful like oh my gosh like it's so stressful combine that with the heat and you got like a disaster but and we tried that for a while we just didn't do that and then you know i just got into security work i was like um i'm not going back to a warehouse and i don't want to you know do something i did like back in minnesota i want to try to expand uh and I, I'm gonna get on my shit and eventually like take this into like, you know, doing more uh, personal training. Also, I wanna learn how to bartend too. Those are some things I wanna do. Um, uh, I just gotta, you know, stop the procrastination and really dial in. But also I'm really trying to build our savings so we can, um, you know, um, do more stuff, you know, like, uh, not like just travel more and see the world, you know, that's, that's our goal in life, you know, um, uh, but yeah, basically I've been doing security and then busing at a, at a day club and, um, the money I'm making is, it's actually really, it's not like extravagant, like I'm like rich and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, but it's, it's, it's helping me build my savings back up and, and it's, uh, it's paying our bills. Like we're living pretty comfortable. We're not like struggling for bills. Um, and then the security I'm doing on the job, it's the suit and tie I gotta wear. Um, it's actually, it, it's decent too, you know? So like, um, I'm doing decent, you know? Um, I'm grateful for the money that I got to, to, to the income because last year I was, wasn't generating as much money as I'm generating now with both these jobs. So I'm grateful for that. Um, there's always room for improvement in life, but you got, like I said, you got to be grateful for the um, things you got right now. And also, like, it's two new things. I never done security in my life, and I never done busing. So it's 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 a new experience for me. You know, it's pretty cool, like, to see different aspects of the work 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 uh experience you know and i know a lot of people would say like hey dude you're a fucking loser like you're doing this and all this shit you know what i'm saying but like for those people i, I don't really care you know like uh other people's opinions don't really matter to me um if like, oh my gosh there's a coma sorry y'all there's a coma in my car Cone got stuck under my car. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to end the video. But yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, or there's something that got stuck under my car. Nothing bad, but alright, y'all. Peace.